it's Olivia and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I bought during the Lily Pulitzer after party sale. Now I shared this last time so if you haven't seen that video you can definitely check that out and I did show a few things on my Instagram so you can follow me at Brightest of the Bunch so that you get those sneak peeks that I show first on there and this will be a try on haul just so y'all can see how it fits on. So if you've never heard about the Lily Pulitzer after party sale basically Lily only has two sales a year and it's a really big deal. Everyone has to get up really early and get in line and they have this whole system set up on their website and I have a blog post all about that so I will link that below for you guys but this year I was like uh, I might shop a little but I didn't really plan on spending a lot of money I kind of wanted to save my money but I ended up buying quite a few pieces I ended up getting up right at 8 and I got straight onto the website I didn't have to wait at all and that's the first year that that's ever happened and once I got in I was kind of like I don't know what I want to get I was just kind of stumped like I just wasn't sure what I wanted. Everything that I really like at Lily right now is in the current collection and it wasn't on the sale. So I had to sort of think back to what I used to want because I wasn't prepared at all. Like I said, I wasn't really sure how much I was going to shop and I wasn't really trying to spend a lot. So I didn't really prepare as much as I normally do. But the first thing that I got was this skirt and I had been looking at this for a while. I absolutely love the pattern and here it is on the back. I just got a size double zero, which is my true size in Lily. It just has this really cute zip zipper that matches the flowers on it and it's got these two pockets in the front and then the stripe down the front. It's actually a skirt even though it looks like a skirt and this retailed for 88 and I got it for 34 It says it's the print rock house engineered mar. I don't know if that's right. I know the tag sort of butchers the name sometimes but that's what the print says. I really love all the bright pinks and orange in this and I'm so excited to style this for spring and summer. This is just such a pretty piece. I'm so glad that I got this. The next piece I got is another score and it's like a traditional score in that sense. People always say that like, <sighs> I'll show you the score first, okay? So it's just this one. It's the same material as the Mango Salsa two-piece set that I have. If you're familiar with that material, the other skirt was the same kind that the Callahans are in, with the kind with the lines. That is my favorite type of fabric that Lily creates. I know that sounds really weird. I'm just like a picky person and I feel like that fabric on that skirt is the best quality but this is like a softer material. It doesn't have as much structure as the other one does but it's just this really cute skirt. so it's got the flap in the front and then it's shorts in the back so this is like the true sense of a skirt, I guess. Some people say that only these are skirts, and they're like oh my gosh you're wearing a skirt. I haven't seen those in years and I'm like all the skirts that I have have shorts underneath. Are those not also considered skirts? But I don't know, I guess this is like a traditional skirt, and I've always wanted one of these that has the flap in the front. I ordered a white one one time, that imitated one that Lily had, but it didn't fit me right. It didn't work out, but this one does fit well. It wasn't anything that I was eyeing before. This was sort of my spontaneous purchase of this after party sale, but I'm really happy with it. It's more on the shorter side, and I feel like it's a little more casual for Lily, and I'm really excited about this as well. My next piece is one that I did already share that I bought on Instagram, so if you are following me on there, you you did see that and that is just this bright pink the train Let's just wait for the train okay so that is just this bright pink orange yellow and purple one shoulder dress I got an extra extra small on this I got a double zero in both those skirts but this does run a little big I would say it fits more like an extra small but it still works it's not too big or anything like that I tried this on over the summer whenever I was actually down here for my freshman orientation but I really love this I love that it's not too tight in a sense because it is just like really flowy and airy and it's the same material that that maxi skirt and that neon tank that I have are. If you've seen that photo, it's on my Instagram, but it's a while back, so you might have to dig for it. But it's that same sort of crinkly material, and I'm really excited about this too. I really love the colors in it. I think it's so pretty, and obviously, Bright Lily is my favorite type of lily. So this last piece I didn't actually get in the after party sale, but I did find it on Poshmark for around 50% off. It's something that I've been eyeing for a really long time. I tried it on like way back in like 2016 and fell in love with it. And I asked you guys on my Instagram to pick between two different two-piece sets, and this is the one that y'all liked the most also. So it is just the flamenco two-piece set. It is the little bra top and then the skirt. I'm so excited to have this. I've wanted this for a long time. I remember the first time I tried 
tried it on. I was in the store looking for the mango salsa two-piece. You know, like the one that's like red and pink and orangish and it's got those like scallops on it. I was looking for that one and I just tried this one on on a whim and I fell in love with it. But I couldn't really justify paying full price for it since it is something that I'm not sure how much I'll get to wear. I know a lot of people wore it to like their formals and things like that, which I think is cute, but... I won't be having any more of those, so I'll probably wear it more casually. Honestly, I'll make any excuse to wear it. It's got that same line material that I love. I am a little uncertain about the fit. You guys can see in the video. It just, like, highlights an awkward space on my belly, and it makes me feel sort of uncomfortable. And I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy. You're going to think it looks fine. But I just feel like I have to, like, stand a certain way to not look pudgy right here, if that makes sense. I know it's not going to sound... <laughs> Y'all are not going to agree. I know you're going to think it looks fine, but it just makes me a little self-conscious. But honestly, I've just been feeling a little out of it lately and not liking a ton of the things that I put on. So maybe that just has to do with it. But the good thing about this is that the cups are lined so you don't have to wear a bra. I got a double zero in this set and the bra top fits me perfectly. I wear a 32C-ish in a bra and this fits perfectly, like perfect. And then the skirt fits just as well. I'm really excited to have this overall and I know that I will love it. I'm so excited to take photos in it and I know I'm going to love it and I'm so excited for all of this. It makes me so ready for summer and spring. The after party sale in the winter always does. That is all I have to show you guys. That's all I got from the sale and I will link below my other two posts about the sale. So I have a blog post and I have a video of what I got last time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below what you got because I would love to hear about that or if you didn't get anything, what is your favorite thing that I got? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed and don't forget to check out my social media. It will be on the next slide. Bye guys!